What's up, guys? Ready to talk about pooping? In the United States, it's kind of like a topic. It's kind of weird that it is, I guess. Something so natural. But hey, here, this is where we're at. Some people in other countries may be watching this, be like, well, what's the big deal? We all do it. So, all right. But the thing is, you know, since we do jujitsu, or you know, assuming you do, since you're at your, here on my channel, uh, it's nice to be consistent. You know, it sucks having to take a dump. When you go to class, you feel those gut-wrenching pains, you try and hold it off till you get home, or even going at your school. You know, that's not always the best thing, especially maybe it's one, only one small bathroom at your school, and you blow it up, and it's like, oh, come on, dude, what are you doing in there, you know? So, you don't want to do that either, right? So, the best thing to do is, you like to be consistent, you know, when you go, you know, to knock it out in one time, if possible, uh, just one big dump a day. That's you know, that, that's good. If you go more, that's that's fine too. But so consistency. Let's talk about how to try to get consistent with it and to have good poops in general. First thing is water, guys. You need to be well hydrated all the time. All right. I'm not going to tell you how much water you need to drink. Okay, because this it kind of varies from what you're doing and everything. And you know, even hell, what jiu-jitsu school you go to. You know, if your jiu-jitsu school is not well, there's no AC there. You're probably gonna need a lot more water than someone who goes to a school that has AC you know, in a given day. How I do to find dehydration actually is, I look at my piss, my urine, and to see if I'm hydrated or not. And with this, if my urine is clear, like water clear, I know I'm hydrated well. So that's based on that. If it's yellowish, really yellow and stuff, um, I know myself, even if I see a little yellow, in my urine, I am not well hydrated. So guys, it just it should be. I guess I've heard I've heard the term straw colored or or, or clear. Um, I'm I'm clear just because I drink so much water. But hydration's clear to keep the GI tract flowing nicely. All right, next thing, um, fiber. Guys, make sure your diet has lots of fiber. So I'm, I'm talking about things eating like fruits, veggies, and have them have them every meal. It's going to help you. So, a good way of looking at this is how much fiber you should be getting. If every thousand calories you eat, you should be getting between 15 to 20 grams of fiber. Okay. Um, last thing is is exercise, and it could be um, <laughs> this. This helps, and it helps you be consistent. All right, let's talk about this a little. Um, I'm not talking about our jujitsu here either, and. And because obviously that, that clearly qualifies exercise, and that will get your GI tract moving. It's like it's a lot of times you may walk into jujitsu, I'm like, oh, I don't know, whatever, my stomach feels great. Then by, yeah, by the first roll that you do that night, you're like, oh god, I gotta go. But all right, so here's kind of like my routine in day, and with exercise and so forth, um, and why I'm consistent. I, I I go every morning, and it's just like I mean, probably in a two week time, 13 out of 14 mornings. That's when I go. And so I wake up, I start drinking water. You know, really cool, get some water. Um, I, I usually go for a walk on the beach, you know, just kind of get out there, kind of get, get, you know, get the mind right for the day. I don't even go that far, right? But still, um, exercise is going to help get the GI tract, is going to help get it moving, going to get your system, your digestive system moving. And um, so I go, and that's, you know, whatever. And I come back, I have breakfast, I have my food, I'm drinking more water. By that point, I'm ready to go, okay? And I go, and I shower, and I go to work. Works out well for me, it's consistent. But you don't even, I mean, obviously not everyone maybe can even go for a walk, right? Um, so that may not be feasible to them. Guys, you could do anything. I mean, even if you're just, you know, do some jumping jacks. You know, just hold, do a bunch, do a few minutes, maybe you know, just break a little bit of a sweat or something. Guys, this is also going to help get the thing moving, okay? And you know, you do something like that, and all of a sudden it's like, whoa, I'm loosened up. <laughs> and, you know, so combine that with the water, uh, your fiber intake, and and just a little bit of exercise, you know, a couple minutes of jumping jacks, it's like you're ready to go. And you know, hey, you can knock this, get this out, hopefully get this out of the way in the morning for yourself as well. And then you're done for the day. So those are the three things uh, to do. You know, that's gonna help you here. Things things not to do and uh, things to avoid is, well, first off, um, let's face it, I mean, caffeine, it's not the, it's, it's, it's kind of, it is, it's, it's a stimulant, and it makes you go, right? But 
it may not be the best route to go about it. What I mean, what happens if you, you know, if you have caf, if you have a bunch of caffeine, you know, maybe in the afternoon, a little you know, after lunch or something like that. You know, you may have to go then. It's going to kind of throw off your timing. You know, because I mean, it's nice to go to know when you're going to go because then you can you know, go to class, no worries about it at all. I don't think about having to go ever anymore. So we're starting to get consistent here with the time you go. So um, you know, so that that may do as well. It's going to stimulate the <laughs> stimulate you to go. So that and also alcohol. That's another thing as well. Uh, something to kind of bind you up. At least it, it always kind of bind me up it was when I had dairy products and I don't have dairy anymore. And yes, I get plenty of calcium. Okay, I know, I know. Um, but I, um, you know, you don't need another animal's milk to get it. So I don't have things like cheese. I don't have things any type of milk or anything like that. And guys, this really helped quite a bit. I mean, at times I, I don't know what kind of issues I was having. I never really investigated. Uh, I didn't even know I had it because I pretty much drank milk a good portion of my life. And but then I, after I quit, I realized how much more consistent I am, and I don't get all Bind it up. I guess I don't even know if that's an official phrase or not, but those are things to avoid. Um, so, um, alcohol, caffeine, dairy products. All right, so three things to add, three things to avoid. Guys, any questions? You know, leave them below. And hey, get consistent, man. It's fucking nice. Please, dude, I don't be that guy. I fucking hate when I walk into our bathrooms in our jujitsu schools and it smells. It's like, man. You know, I just came in here to take a leak, and I'm sitting here like this with my shirt over my nose, you know, <laughs> so don't do that, don't do that, alright, guys, hey, thanks for watching, if you have any questions, oh, I guess I mentioned that, oh, whatever, leave them below, we'll talk to you soon, Oh.